Suck puppet hounds. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other- What? That- What- 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 What, 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 what was that? That's awesome! I've never seen meteor strikes in this game. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog Jog Rog? Um. So the captain really just, uh, is basically in charge of the lights, then, is what I'm gathering. history of evolution has taught us it's that life uh, finds a way. No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, no. I hope this is the last. Oh. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go deal with this guy over here first. Hello. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Oh, damn you. Rude. Excuse me. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Thank you. I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Wow.
Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Lived? Fix that jerk. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tony Pudu. Rana no prata dung no sercha. It you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach, but haven't yet. Uh, I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. Okay, we're going EVA, guys. I found it. That was not a sniper shot. Yeah, don't forget to clip, guys. I want some good Halloween clips for October this year. When I something happens to me or I do stuff. I'm clipping myself when I think of it, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we are going to be playing some... Uh, we are going to be playing some Starfield. So, let me see. Oh, shoot. We have ads in progress. Okay, you know what? 
Let's go back to the starting clips for a minute. Once the ad break is done, <clears throat> I'm used to starting that in advance. Uh, I'll get back and we'll start properly. Sock puppet hounds. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other. What? That. What? What? What, 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 what was that? That's awesome. I've never seen meteor strikes in this game. I'm back again. Sorry about that. Uh, and now the ad break is complete. So, um, let's get into it, shall we? Where are we? We are here. We want PC. We've got Starfield. And I do believe... Here we go. Now... Now this planet, this is more my speed. Oh, I could hike here for a while. Oh God, right. Okay, I need to remember what the heck we're doing with this ship. So let me just, let's get on board. I need to explore this because I'm so used to my off-stream save now. Uh, oh. uh, Sarah? Sam, you okay? What's going on? Okay, so... Looks like we've got ourselves a passenger area. This is some sort of companion way, I assume. Excuse me. Come through. Right, then... Oh my god, right! Okay! <clears throat> Yes, hello. Interesting. All right. Right. I'm I'm remembering now that when I last played this, I had not yet figured out how to switch between variations of like I knew about variations but only barely, and I hadn't realized that the hab units also had variations. What do we have here? Octomagic grazer. Great. Tetrafluorides. We're on Procyon 3. Actually, quite Earth like. 21% O2. Very close to Earth's standard gravity. Why were we here? Maybe I should check the journal. Hey, Tagarung, what's going on? Oh, it's um, it's a modified. It's Frontier. I have stolen a number of other ships, but I always sell them, even though you don't get much for them. Okay, so what have we got here? I think we probably just showed up on this planet looking for something to explore. 
that's my best guess anyway. How's it going? I don't know what that is, so I'm going to assume no. Copper. That's three of seven resources. And I probably just... Yeah, I gave myself lung damage. That's awesome. Okay, that's probably enough of this planet for now. Where did I park the ship? Oh, actually, hang on. We have 33,000 credits. We can do a little work on the ship. Just doing hunting in another game? Excellent. This was basically my first attempt at redesigning the Frontier Tagarang. I didn't fully understand the shipbuilding system. I probably still don't, but I have a vastly superior understanding of the shipbuilding system now than I did when I did this. Nah, it's not that big. deal with him another time uh so oh we're oh okay we're over here what we want to do is go to vol 2 unexplored route ah That one should be okay, right? Doesn't actually matter. Let's go. During the very first set of missions where you assault the pirate base to get them to back off so you can get to where you meet the explorers, you pick up a letter that if you read it gives you a quest line that at the end you get a ship and legendary spacesuit set. Now, I haven't done anything like that yet. I have other things to worry about. I will get to that eventually, though. Now we can go on. <clears throat> this is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. No worries, sir. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Thank you. We gotta go to Neon. This is our first time in this playthrough ever being to Neon, by the way. I've become quite familiar with it in my off-stream game. I did read today that you can do... You, you can get one of the best sets of armor in the game right at Constellation Headquarters. And you can do it really quickly. It's behind a master level lock, but you don't actually have to open the lock. 
which is kind of hilarious. Careful screwing with the security around here. These idiots are not quite as honest as the Free Star Rangers. Okay. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Nifty. Wait. Buddy, where'd you go? What the heck? Oh. No. Dude. Where are you? Did he go for coffee? What the heck? <clears throat> I wonder if he ran out to meet my ship because it's the first time. No? Well, whatever. Okay, fine. It's okay. There is another way, actually. But I will be submitting a complaint to his Looks boss. Like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credit stone. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. You just told me that, but thank you. Welcome to Blade Runner Town. Well, with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge, I suppose we should pay to visit. Purely for exploratory purposes, of course. No time, Sarah. We're here for a specific purpose, and it's not that. We want to go here, to Walter Stroud's company. Twenty-three thirty. yes. Yes, how can I help you today? On behalf of Strout Eklund, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. That was quite a sales pitch. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Feel free to have a look around our showroom. I'll be right here if you need me. Have you ever met Walter Stroud? He's been to Neon a few times, but I haven't had the pleasure of his company for more than a few minutes at the most. What I can say is that Despite what's been reported by the media, Mr. Stroud is a rational luminary with uniquely future-forward vision. Okay. If you're in the market for spacecraft, please don't forget about us. No worries. We are going to view and modify ships. Because this is kind of a disaster. So we've got so much wrong here. That can go there, that can go there, that can go actually probably right away entirely. I may or may not get rid of those cargo pods. I'm not sure yet. Just 
stick them there for the time being. Okay. <clears throat> We've got two passenger compartments, and I do not need two. I didn't know that you can do... Where are we? Ah, uh, right. Uh, okay. Where's Habs? Stroud all in one berth. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, okay, so we had the engineering bay in there as well. Let's ditch that. We're gonna redo it in Stroud. Oh! All in one berth, three by one? Interesting. do that and then we're gonna do engineering bay Come on. go next Shop for sure. I think we'll get rid of this cockpit. Not sure what we're going to do. We might try a new one. I'll show you the one that I use. Uh, that's a bridge. I used this one in my off-stream game. That's the one I posted photos of on the Discord. I'm not 100% sure how much I like it. Interesting. Oh, it's cargo space. Okay. Man, all of these are pretty much the same. Except for cargo capacity. Well, I guess we might as well go with this, then. into the Falcon resemblance a little bit. What the heck? Uh, what do you mean, Bob? I don't know what you're referring to there. Now, I kind of have to add another level up here. Valariel is the long-form name of V in Cyberpunk? What? I have never heard that before. That's interesting. Valerie. Okay. Well, I guess it can actually be a unisex name now that I think about it. Okay, cargo. 
what have we got here? These are Star Freight Logistics. 320 capacity. But I kind of hate the design. Vincent. Okay. Cargo hall. Mess hall. Hey, Jessica. How's it going? Not doing too bad so far. We're just completely redesigning the ship again. Port Docker, huh? I didn't really look at this. Keep with the top docker for now. Ooh, it works. Okay. Ship exceeds maximum length. Oh, uh, that'll be the width. It's because I've got parts distributed everywhere. Multiple. Do oh, right. Okay. Uh, where's the old docker? We can get rid of that one now. Unattached modules. So, so far, so good. We're okay.
Let's see how this works. There. Come on. There we go. You know something? I kinda... I kinda hate that. there. That gives me space for four weapons, which I believe is perfect. Oh, I don't even know if I need that many. I can mount those underneath there. What is wrong with you? Mount to the frickin' top one. Oh my god. Fine. They're going here. We can get rid of these. What? What is that? Oh, that's the smaller missile launcher. Shoot. Hey, Hammer, how are you doing? Can't reach cockpit from Docker. All right, fine. Let's fix that. <sighs> hey, Greenie, how's it going? I hate the way weapons work in this. I want to just stick them where I want them to go. A big part of the problem is there just aren't enough good mounts for them. What's that, the Adelatl 270A missile launcher? Maybe I can force the issue. There we are. Teach you to try to tell me I can't do that. Okay. entirely. So that gives us our lasers and our missiles, and why do we have two errors? Missing a weapon assignment. That's easy enough. Had a couple fun encounters so far tonight? Yeah, it looked like you were having a good time. I can't wait to get to the city myself.
Just gonna get rid of these. Temporarily. <clears throat> There's just so much, yes. Raven, welcome. I keep finding references to the Throne of Ball antagonists, so that's awesome. Did you see the news that David Gator, one of the lead writers on Baldur's Gate 2, and especially Throne of Ball, absolutely loved Baldur's Gate 3? I thought that was pretty awesome. Okay, what can we do here? I think we're going to try to go with some sort of cowling. Just popping in, back to it. No problem, Greeny. Do what you do. That one's not bad. Doesn't really work. Ooh. Oh, actually, maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, that's not quite gonna work. Bigger ship, maybe. I have a wonderful mod that allows you to give the shipbuilding NPCs access to all ship modules that can be used that aren't custom to pre-con ships. Very nice. I will not be modding the game for quite some time yet, but it's good to know that things like that exist. That one looks like it might do. I may have to make this longer still if I can. I, yeah. Or maybe get rid of this, I'm not sure. Let me see what my other options are. They don't have any one by twos, do they? Not really, huh? They have a two by two living quarters? That's actually pretty awesome. What is that? That's um I think that's a cargo hall. I either have to make the ship longer, or I have to get rid of the cargo hull. I 
I'm not building any specific ship. If anything, it's a little more based on the Millennium Falcon, but I'm not trying to recreate anything, really. It's a very, very, very minimal inspiration. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're running out of cash, too. You know what? Let's just ditch that. I don't need it. Just do a storeroom there. even do that. Of course, that does give me another problem now. Ugh. Wait, that doesn't look right. That looks better. No, I don't want to go taller. That has implications. It really affects how you move around the ship. Actually, you know, that's kind of a relief if the landing gear are misaligned. That kind of solves a problem for me.
I've noticed that ship doors depend on the order that you connect the modules unless I'm missing something. I'm not certain 100% that that's true, but I had been kind of thinking the same thing. Crap, now I've still got this problem. That's not half bad. Colors a little off, but I could get into that. My current ship, happy to share images of on Discord, has a floor plan that is three by six by two modules with a two by one on the roof for the captain's quarters. Yeah, I don't have the money to spend on that yet, but I'll get there. That's uh, that's not too far off what I've been going for on my off-stream ship. Is this always so... There. I think that'll do. Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. 700k, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm not anywhere close to that. I've probably spent more on my off-stream ship this one I haven't really done that much. Let's actually see if I can... There. Right, that's better. modules still oh did I undo the weapon assignment no you don't know offhand what the missing thing is, do you? I'm not seeing it offhand. I usually end up finding it just fine. There we go. Uh, that just leaves me with one problem. Where the hell do I put the shield?
Can you put them under? I don't know if that's gonna work. This is a side mount. I think I can live with that for the time being. I don't think any of them rotate freely like that. Oh! I like that better. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raven. I'll check that out later. And have yourself a fantastic night. Thank you for stopping in. Alright, let's see if we can correct these colors. Any... Oh, uh, one thing. Does anybody happen to know if there is a way to change the colors of all the ship components at the same time? Or is it one at a time? Hold control and double click apart. You have to highlight the whole ship. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. I was just wondering. I'm pretty happy with what we got here now. The whole ship will go red. Control and double click. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I think that'll do. So we've got the one warning. Ship is missing a frickin' weapon assignment. I don't believe that's true. Oh. Wait, hang on. What just happened there? Why? means you're only using two weapons instead of three. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's why I figured I should probably try adding another weapon. So that's fine. Great. Thank you very much. And have a fantastic night. Uh, okay, so what did we change? We upped our firepower. That's going to use basically all of our cash. So we're not going to be upgrading our shields. And I think we've improved the internal layout, I hope. Actually, that's a thing we have to test. Let's confirm this. At the very least, we're no longer duplicating. Like, we don't have the two passenger things. So, I'm happy about that. So, let's go see how this looks now.
It does look a little imposing in person. I kind of think I like the design more than I like my other one. My uh, on off-stream one. Do you require my assistance? No, we're good. Now let's see what kind of chaotic That's mess I've on. made of the internal layout. So we are here. This is... Ah, this is the new workshop. Excellent. Quick and easy access to the cockpit. We've got a child on our bridge. We have... What is this? I'm not sure what that is. Living quarters, maybe? Interesting. This is our engineering deck, I believe. So I think that'll do. Oh, and we've got stuff up here. What did I put up here? No, I do not have a dooring fan. Ah, right. I just put a little storeroom up here. Okay. Very nifty. Next, we need to go make some money so that I can throw my entire design into complete chaos and require another redesign. Okay. Now, we don't actually have to leave the system even, I don't believe. Uh, we can go to Tau. Or... No. There's a science outpost over here. Just like the way you look, just visit any enhanced clinic found in the major cities of the settled whatever. And I missed that. There we go. I don't know. A few trees here and some grass there, and this place might not look so awful. Helium-3. Oh, I love the gravity here. 0.17. Just like that, survey complete. God, I have... 
I'm gonna have to get used to whatever weapons I've got here. At least this seems like a decent pistol. What have I got? Uh, Professionals Advanced Solstice. What is... Okay. Calibrated Maelstrom. I've got... Wow. I like this rifle, but I... I have ammo for it? What the heck? I've never fired one of these before. Ooh. Okay. Refined Equinox. Uh, we need to keep that. We need to keep that. Let's put... That's going to be three. That's going to be two. That's going to be five. Just because of muscle memory. Let's put that on four. Okay, it's not as good, but at least it's a familiar type of weapon. Now that I've got a workshop on board the ship, I can do a lot of customization stuff. Science outpost. Hello. Friendly? I am currently engaged in the completion of my assigned task. Please do not interfere. I'll do my very best. Oh, ads. Thank you very much, Tagarung. I'm so glad you guys can see that now. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good opportunity to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five minutes. so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no. I should start the break right now. Actually, no, it's okay. It's not going to take a minute and a half to die. Bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. Okay, this is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have, um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. In RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh, my... Oh, my God. Mm. 
Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. Surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave that. Okay, I'm back. Now, this seems like it's a friendly place, which means I'm not really going to get to shoot much or loot much. It's a cave. Ah, there's another unknown out there. Ooh, what's that? Shock troop spacesuit? Oh god. This low gravity will make surface traversal much easier. I really kind of want to steal this. <laughs> That's a really nice suit. Ah, uh, forget it. It's not like I'm never going to find another one. Just leaving stuff lying all over this area. Canuck Maple Cola! I choose to believe that that's my reward for being good and not stealing the really fancy suit. Overburdened? What the heck? Sarah, where are you? I'm listening. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. You better be. 135? Oh my god. I'm so spoiled in my other playthrough. Oh, this is going to be atrocious. Here, you can... Uh, oh god, she can't carry anymore. Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, hang on. I've probably got some crap I can ditch. I don't like maelstroms all that much. We can drop that. Oh, 152. Okay, that's not as bad. I would like to keep the suppressed Grendel, though. Why you drop something as useful as that, I have no idea. Fine, I'll keep the damn thing. We're just going to go back to the ship, and I will load up the cargo. <laughs> Usually they complain when I don't drop stuff. This is new. I've never had a companion complain when I drop something. Yep, you know, I think I like this design. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived. It's a shame we're going to have to completely redo it again in a few minutes. Or, you know, probably more like an hour or something. 
Uh, okay, Captain's Locker. There we go. Stash that, and... Oh, crap. What did I just do? Okay, stash all that. Um, that's fine. I'll stick those away, and I'll keep that one. 109... All that can go. Oh, right, the Aurora. Holy crap, okay. And, right, notes. Anything that's not a quest note, we can stash. I assume the secret outpost note is the one you're referring to there, Tigerong from earlier. Wait, how do I get... Oh, there. Okay. Hello. here. It's not stealing to take it. That suggests that if there are other people around here, they're probably not friendlies. Oh, Collapse Mine. I've never explored one of these. Deep Seeker? I've never seen one of those either. Cool ship design has an armory with weapon racks you can display your guns on. Yeah, I, I haven't used one of those yet, but I want to eventually. Fancy. Okay, so I'm using the constellation at the moment. That's good. Okay there, buddy. You hang in there. Calibrated deep recon skip pack. Skip capacity boost pack. Let's give that one a try for a little bit. I haven't used a skip pack before.
uranium. No wonder he's dead. Got lots of stuff at least. Hopefully that's good enough. Trauma pack. Okay, I like the skip pack quite a bit. The maneuverability you've got, the amount of air control, this is phenomenal. Now granted, I realize this is not likely to be the same on planets with heavier gravity, but even so... came in. Yeah, on this planet, I can effectively just fly. This is amazing. Creature pile. Lovely. Oh, I missed something. Benzene. Yeah, this is where I came in, which is fine. I've visited I don't believe so, Tigeron. So I don't think you can do that, which is kind of unfortunate. That would be really neat if you could do it. Okay, that looks like that's about our last point of interest here. Sarah, there we go. So let's go somewhere else. We got the survey on this planet, or moon, or whatever.
Now, how about this one? That's another deep freeze barren moon. Sounds delightful. Let's go right here. Have you gone to Earth yet, Tigerong? It's kind of depressing. It's a little cold here. Neodymium. Haven't played this. Oh, just seen a lot of gameplay as it's all a lot of people are playing. Yeah. It's going to be this and Baldur's Gate 2, 3 for a long time for me. And I'm not going to abandon Tears of the Kingdom either. I'm not done with that one yet. I'm almost done. We're getting there. But I'm not quite done yet. So probably in a couple of weeks I'm going to do some more Tears of the Kingdom. But until then... It's going to be a lot of Baldur's Gate, and it's going to be a lot of this. Ooh, spacers. Excellent. Yeah, I played Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time on PlayStation 5 today, and I was honestly shocked. The... I... I... I don't know which is the native game and which is the port, or even if that's even applicable. But the PlayStation 5 version, whether it's the original or the port, it's phenomenally good. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. They certainly are not. We're gonna stealth our way in with lung damage and a cough. Cause that's gonna be fun. But yeah, the PlayStation version of Baldur's Gate 3, it gives a very different impression. A lot of the interfacing actually seems to work better on the PlayStation version, like it's been completely redesigned between PC and uh, console. And I actually... Oh. This isn't happening. Ah. Oh, it's happening. Oh, crap. Okay, this is going to be a very slow exploration. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, good. My lungs are healing. But one thing that I find is that 
the distance between the camera and the character and the angle that it's at really seems to be much more under your immediate moment-to-moment -moment control when you're playing on PlayStation. So I find that I tend to be not quite close enough to be considered like third person over the shoulder, but really, really close to that most of the time. And that makes the game look and feel very different. It's actually really interesting. just one moment hang on chameleon advanced skip pack wait am i why is it not chameleoning blend with the environment and sneaking and not moving okay hang on There. Oh, right. Okay, because I was not actually sneaking. The only problem with Chameleon is I can't actually see my own crosshairs. <laughs> Ex Damn it! Well, not all of your contraband was in the contraband cache. So, oh shoot, wait a minute. Uh, crap! I can't carry contraband yet. All right, let's see. That's weird, I don't think that one works. Okay, that one works there. That one's gonna go there. That goes there, so that's... Between this one and this one, we've got the inner circle. So we just need these three on the outer circle. And that's going to be a problem. One channel I watch is a husband and wife that play games together and they're doing a chaotic evil playthrough and it was funny. They were trying to get pickpocket skill up, so they were going around pickpocketing people with the bad cough. Amazing. No, I can't make that one work. Unless there's a different way to make this one work. There's that. There we go.
Six thousand credits. Living quarters key. Ah, next. This extraction site is a chance for us to start over and leave our past behind. We aren't pirates anymore, we're just regular people. Man, it feels good to say that. We're working hard to get everything up and running, and we're even managing to make it feel like home. Is this what we call retirement? What? Who? Where? More fire on him! I've had enough of this! Shit! One down! I think I'm four of them! Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? Yes. Yes, it very much is. You'll thank me later when I can afford to pay you. Chunks cheesesteak, that sounds delicious. Advanced Urban Eagle. Up, oh, shoot. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. That was more what I had in mind. Hey, Jarek, what's going on? We can do a terrible joke. Hang on just a second. I think we can do a terrible joke. One moment. Checking. There we go. Yes, we can do a terrible joke. Why don't people ever starve in deserts? They eat the sand which is there. And... My stream deck, or my, uh, my, yeah, my stream deck audio doesn't seem to be working, so no rim shot. Sorry about that. That actually happened during the afternoon stream as well today. charge them for clearing up their infestation problem. They can't argue with me being a little bit overzealous in my extermination policies, getting rid of all the people too. I was specifically told to get rid of all of the living gross things. It's not my fault that the people were also gross. Solomon's Adventures 5. 
permanently increases weapon damage at night by 5%. Deep core spacesuit. Ah, nice. Okay. Advanced level. Okay, that works for the outer layer. Okay, that'll work for the inner layer. Then we need this, this, and this. That's kind of a problem. I don't think that's working. Hang on. Okay, so that'll work for the outer. That's the inner. So I only need those two. There we go. So that's the inner layer all taken care of. There we go. Ooh, not bad. My life, chunk by chunk. They are indeed, Bob. They are indeed. I will take a floor orange from a bathroom. An improvised bathroom at that. Harvested organs? Oh, God. Okay, we're going to have to go find home, I guess. I've got several pieces of contraband now, and I need a place to sash them until I get a way to smuggle effectively. Which is the thing that's going to force us to redesign the ship, by the way. Base Adept Modified Drum Beat Rare Rifle. You're carrying too many odds and ends. Time to let something go. I'll let things go when we get back to the ship and not one second before. Funky Sphere Sculpture. It's fine, Sarah. I don't have a problem. I have a solution. It's called a cargo hold. They abandoned us. I can't believe Consolidated Mining abandoned us. Apparently the installation wasn't profitable enough. I should have listened to Corey. These megacorps have no humanity. It's always money first. What a bunch of assholes. We haven't heard anything from them since they've cut us off and we've, we're have we about to run out of supplies. On top of that, we don't have a ship who can't let us go home. On top of that, we don't have a ship who can't let us go home. What? I'll try to craft an emitter and send an SOS to a passing ship. If this doesn't work, we could be stranded. Space Trucker Space Helmet. Their copy editor missed one. Or maybe it was left in intentionally because, you know, people write like that in reality. Occasionally it's okay to let that be reflected in fiction. Okay, inner. Mm, that's not going to work.
Okay, so that one and that one, but that leaves that one without a match. There we go. Don't think that was worth it, honestly. It does cost me my digipick, yes. And they can occasionally be fairly hard to replace. I mean, I usually end up with a surplus of them, so it's not that big a deal. But it's definitely not just time. Especially this early on when I don't really have a surplus. How are you doing, Aaron Laura? It's good to see you, by the way. Turret control. Protect current user. Surprise! the hell? Turns out it's still a bug Thursday game. It's a lot better than most Bethesda games, let's be honest. It's got a few little things which are not a big deal by any stretch that are much, much better than your typical launch these days. I think credit where credit is due is warranted. Play them unmodded. This is about normal levels for one of their games, an occasional crash and some clipping. Okay, that's fair. I still think it's better than most new releases these days. Where'd you go, sir? Thank you. 
Prognosis improved, lung damage, excellent. Surprise! Remember when the only real options in a game which were sound card capability you needed didn't have to worry about graphics cards and all that, and if your CPU would work and all? Yep, that's true. That's the price you pay for improvement over time. Increased capacity, increased capability, leads to increased complexity. I wouldn't go back, I gotta tell you. That's where we parked. That is one hell of a sensitive mine. I did not touch the ground. I do too. I don't miss it enough that I would be willing to actually go back though. The funniest retort I've read for someone complaining about a few bugs, you can't write a single sentence without errors, yet you expect over a hundred gigabytes of data to be bug free. <laughs> True. How are you doing, Winters? It's good to see you. I can show you guys the newly revamped and redesigned ship, which is what I spent the first hour of the stream on tonight. It's that misshapen blob of awkwardness right there, in case you're wondering. Hey, my lung damage is cured. Doing great, loving star fielding, excellent. So I'll give you the tour. I noticed earlier that I screwed up on this landing gear, so ignore the fact that this doesn't match properly. Oh. So many complaints about modern games seem to be able to sum up with, they didn't target me as the demographic and so nothing about it can be good. Yeah, that's unbelievably accurate, honestly. Let's go. 
I'm regretting not using a name that Vasco can say. That and people forgetting just how many games came out as buggy messes that barely or didn't function and then complaining that a new game has bugs, yes. So let me first drop stuff off so I can give you the proper tour. Cargo hold. Inventory. Where's my random crap? I've got 20 weapons. I don't think I need to hold quite that many. I'm still at over... Wow. I think that might be a record for me. I don't know what it was before I picked up all those weapons, but... 293 out of 155. I must have a lot of resources. Okay, I'm going to keep the harvested organs. I'm also going to keep the Xeno Warfare tech. Because we have to drop these off at home before we can go anywhere near a settled, like a, a patrolled system. The outside of it already looks awesome. That ship's got to be packing some serious thrust with those engines. Yes. Yes, indeed. I actually had those engines last time. Like, uh, I did that last stream. Uh, okay. So, now that I'm down to a reasonable carry weight, I... Th or... Hey, Dad. Nope. Never mind. I lied. What on earth am I holding that is so heavy? Oh, it's okay. Aid. Take a little bit of that back. Where's med kit? Med pack. Nine hundred twenty-nine. Wow. I probably need to sell stuff soon. It's called a haiku. There we go. Here's the bridge. Roughly the same as what I showed you in the images. This is the same bridge module that I was using, except that the design of the ship, it kind of projects forward a little bit. I don't know yet if I'm going to like that or not. We may have to redesign it later. That reminds me, the ship you get from that quest also has shielded cargo, so you get a percent chance to evade the scan and bring in the contraband. That's actually what I'm saving up money for now, Tigerung. I know exactly where to go to install shielded cargo bays on any ship you feel like doing it to. So this is our workshop. This is where you pop up into the ship from. Uh, this is the entrance from the landing gear here. You pop up here, you can go back here. And uh, then you're in here. This is our engineering bay. And over here, we have a little bit of a storeroom. Ooh. Oh, no, wait, this is, I, oh man, I was puzzling over this. This is a one by three living space. I had forgotten all about that. Wait, am I still freaking overburdened? Are you kidding me? 170... Hang on a second, guys. 
Okay, I've got eight spacesuits. That's probably not helping. Acrobat's Navigator spacesuit. Grants up to one, plus 100 energy resistance and physical resistance to lower your health. Acrobat, minus 50% fall damage. Okay. I... F <laughs> I filled up my ship's cargo hold completely. I can't dump cargo in there anymore. Now I want a juice box of whiskey sour. I think I can accommodate that, actually. Uh, I've got a can of Canuck bacon. I've got Canuck ham boys. Don't ask me. I have no idea what that is. Canuck maple cola, which sounds amazing. I would try that. Canuck shepherd's pie. Delicious. Canuck Tortier, also delicious. Dark Lager, Drink Pack, Milk, Orange, Red Wine, Vodka. Miso soup, soup mini slurp. And a mini pack of, or multi pack of them. Red Harvest single malt whiskey. So there you go. I don't know about the whiskey sour specifically, but maybe you can make that out of the whiskey. Oh, also, three and a half minute warning, guys. We're going to have a break in three and a half minutes. It really does, Winters. And I love how much Canadian representation they've got in it. It's pretty amazing. Half the stuff I don't even know about. So, yeah, here's our living quarters. Then we've got our bridge. And then I haven't really done much. That's really about it. We've got the engineering section. We've got the workshop, which is the important bit. And we've got this up here, which was really just more than anything to attach stuff to. That's our exit out of the ship if we're going on boarding maneuvers, docking to a station or another ship, and just a little bit of a storeroom up here. Eventually, I need to add a science lab or a... what's the other one? Um, an infirmary, because that adds the missing two bits of crafting table stuff. The, um, the research table, I believe. Oh, no, this has got the research lab. Nice. and uh, But also the pharmaceutical crafting table is in either of those. You don't really need both. Excuse me. Uh, th thank you. I would say no children on the bridge, but this is really not a bridge, technically. It's still a cockpit, even though it looks like it could be a bridge. So yeah, it's coming together. Unfortunately, as soon as I go to add those shielded cargo bays, I am going to have to completely redesign the ship again to accommodate them. I only have a minute before I have to take a break. You know, I, I this is a completely untested ship design in combat too. And I was not able to upgrade my shields because I spent too much money on everything else. A po'boy made of ham? What the heck is that? That doesn't really help me any. He's level 12, but if I recall correctly, 
I should be level 14. I really hope they make it easy to share ships like you could do character presets in Skyrim. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Also, po' boy, po' boy derived from the non-rhotic southern accents often heard in the region, or poor boy is a sandwich originally from Louisiana. It almost always consists of meat, which is usually roast beef, chicken fingers, or some sort of fried seafood, such as shrimp, crawfish, etc., etc. The meat is served on New Orleans French bread, known for its crispy crust and fluffy center. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, uh, let's resolve this combat after I get back from the break. So I'm going to be gone for about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink, this is a very good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. Hopefully I can just kind of circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or, I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Well, this is off to a good start. Whoa! Yes, whoa! <laughs> okay, that... That was a little eerie. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow. Crap, he has a bad motivator. Oh, that looks like Terry Town. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. Technically, we're into November. Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn ah. it. oh shit! Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. Or science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh God, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> I should probably just focus on going where I need to go instead of on murdering these guys in the bikes. Although, a little bit of bike murder is pretty fun. I'm going to hit something. <laughs> that was the best timing ever. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm going to have to add a new part to my house then to start displaying these fancy weapons. Sword of the Hero. A sword once wielded by a hero in an ancient age. When it's grasped, a strange sense of nostalgia washes over you. Take it when going alone would otherwise be dangerous. I love that. That's so cool. 
Okay, I am back. You know, I kill people like you for breakfast. Okay, where are we? Get back here. Oh god, okay, this might have been an error. Okay, well... <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Lord Winters and Bob. <laughs> right, I'm not flying a starfighter anymore. Maybe we try to avoid that kind of stuff until I'm able to beef up my uh, weapons and shielding. <clears throat> That might have to be my next priority. Oh, you know, I'm mistaken. I know exactly where we can put the cargo containers. All right, we're done on this planet. We surveyed that. What's over here? Oh, this is a different change of pace. This will be another rocky vista, but it's scorching. We're going to go there instead. Or, hang on. What is this? No, not there. Asteroid. Can we actually go there? I kind of want to go back to Neon, but I can't because I'll get scanned and obliterated or arrested at least. Space is oh, that was it? Well, that was easy. Okay, so that one's finished. Uh, okay, we have to go home. So I believe that is the Narian system, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? McGrath, Nera, that's it. That's that's the one. Is this... Am I mistaken? Okay, where the heck do I live? It's not Wolf. It's not Soul. It has to be the Narian system, doesn't it?
London Landmark on Earth, Frank Rennick, Scientist by the Tree, Brown Nuts in the Well, Trevor. Let's check out ship's inventory. Nope. Wait, what? Credits? Why do I have those hanging out in here? I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. Why would you say that? That's what... But... Okay, what am I supposed to be finding here? Is there maybe a note in here? Because good luck finding that. Three star captain's log. <laughs> Might as well be Aaron Lara. skill point. Hang on. One more skill point in social. Deception skill also helps you smuggle stuff, apparently. But we're going to focus a little more on this. Ship's top speed is increased. I think we'll do this one. Opportunity. Oh, that was the pirate one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Did not mean that. They abandoned us. Wanted. To all soldiers of fortune, I want Gord dead. A large sum of credits will be added to your account upon confirmation of the kill. To add to the game, this number will increase by a set amount every week. I know what you're thinking. The longer you wait, the higher the bounty. But ask yourself, will the next hunter be as patient as you? Uh... Oh, that was a magazine. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one's about then.
Nope, not there. Not there. This one's in free space, not in the center of an asteroid. Let's see what this is about. Man, I am definitely not flying a starfighter anymore. This is definitely a bit of a hauler. And it kind of looks like I badly need a new reactor as well. My thrusters increase my speed a whole one. Shipping crate. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Never. Oh, God. Okay, fine. We'll investigate it. But I don't think I've got room in my bays to take anything. That's better. Can you have an actual fleet like you have a scout ship, but the rest of the fleet is like haulers and fighters to defend the haulers that show up slowly after you call them and just hang around in orbit otherwise? I've wondered about that myself. I suspect it's more that you can just own a bunch of ships, but you're only using one of them at a time. I don't think there's like any kind of convoy or anything like that. I might be mistaken, but that's my belief so far. Okay, where's this last bit? That's done. This is definitely the wrong world. Where the heck do I live? It's...
abandoned mine. Hang on. Okay, it's Nasoy in the Olympus system. So we are, are we are in the wrong place. That's Wolf Alpha Centauri. Olympus was back here. Okay. There we are. One day I'll be rich enough in this game to be able to afford several ships operating at once, and we'll be able to test and see if that's true. Though I'm sure people on the internet are already testing it. I've got 24 hours in this game and most of it has been spent in Seoul. Still haven't finished surveying the whole system. You love this game. Nice. I've surveyed a fair bit of Earth at this point. What I'm seeing, this world has all the essential building blocks to support life. Yeah, it's not a bad location. Yep, not exactly lunar gravity here. I had to pay 500 bucks for the uh, key because I still haven't paid off the mortgage. You have to do that once a week anytime you use it. You just pay at the door. If you don't come by and use it, you don't have to pay, which is not so terrible, actually. Oh, wait a minute. That was the outside door. Yeah, it's 125k. It's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. There you go. So, Winters, I did you ever find that missing contraband you were looking for on board your ship, by the way? Because these are two examples of the kind of case that you're looking for. Have a great night, Aaron Lord. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm just going to leave these here. And... 
They should be fine until I come get them once I've got my ship decked out in such a way that I can smuggle stuff effectively. And now I am free and clear with no contraband. And I can safely land. Did not and looked everywhere, ended up making marking for delete three ecliptic personnel bodies that were still on the ship, and that strangely did the trick even though you'd looted them. That is actually pretty weird. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an info of the engines. It's like the dead bodies were the contraband. Well, I was kind of wondering if maybe one of them was wearing something. I'm not sure how likely that is, but, you know, that's all I can come up with. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Alpha Centauri, oh, we can we can make either jump, okay. Let's just go here. We'll go back to Neon. Oh, actually... Now that we've been there before, we don't need to go through the whole process, we can just land. How do you mark for delete, by the way? I had meant to ask you that before and I never got around to it. The guy is still missing? That's actually kind of concerning. Okay, so that was not nearly enough. Oh god, uh, the vendor is out of credits. Okay. We're gonna have to go to the trade authority. Open the console, click on the body, and type mark for delete. Gotta save, then reload the game then. Got it. Okay.
moving, the scanners won't hurt you. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay. Selling or moving. I'm not sure how to answer that. Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Now that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make some money, so what'll it be? She didn't like that. Let's do some business. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So he's got a lot more money than the terminal does, thankfully. I'll get rid of that. Hand loading suppressed calibrated maelstrom. Okay, we're down to 274. Oh my god, I've got so much crap. Two fifty nine. Uh, spacesuits. Actually, I think I'll keep holding that one. That one seems half good as well. Maybe no, no, no. I'll sell those ones. 222. I guess I don't need this one anymore since I've got a pack now that does the chameleon stuff. 210 178 now we're getting somewhere electromagnetic I believe To heck with it. Okay, that's probably about all I'm doing. But that gives me a nice pile of credits again. All right, what's 
Got it. I'm still overloaded, but my ship seems to have plenty of room now. Can't wait to boot this on my new PC tomorrow, which was delayed again. Gonna go sleep now. Have a great night, Bob. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will catch you again soon. Enjoy the game tomorrow. You're gonna love it. Hopefully no more delays. It's bothering me that I can't find the guy here at the port that's supposed to do the ship stuff. That's kind of a problem. How can I be of service, Captain? Recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Okay. Cargo hold, inventory, resources, store all resources. Notes. Oh, secret outpost. I think that's the one. Oh, and plus survey data. I should probably take a look at those at some point. I could have sworn I had put most of this stuff away. Maybe I accidentally looted my own ship without realizing... That would explain pretty much everything, really. There, 56 of 155. Okay. Good day, Captain. I wonder if maybe he's up there somewhere. Can you even get into that upper section of the building? I don't see any other exits over here. see any entrances into that part. I guess it's cosmetic, which is a little weird. That's frustrating. It works fine in my other save. What the heck is wrong with this one? Yeah, I would believe that, because nobody appears to want to work on it. We'll take good care of your ship. Who will? Tell me. Have a good one. I would love to, please. Rude. Now that I understand them, yeah, I do, Winters. It took a bit for me to wrap my head around it. It became a lot easier as soon as I did it while I was trying, like, not trying to stream at the same time. That's kind of a recurring pattern lately. I don't suppose he got lost somewhere over here, maybe?
Whoop. Ooh. You okay? That was a hell of a jump. That's nothing that I can't just walk off, I'm sure. I apparently love them so much, my most used console command is unlock. Oh, wow. I have not touched a console command yet. Okay, well... That's irritating. How much money do I have again? I probably have enough that I can go and look at doing the thing. Let's become a smuggler. Okay, guys, so if you've ever wondered where you go, I do believe it's the Porama system here. These days I will get around to checking that out. Porama 4. Paradiso, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. Porama 3, Red Mile. You want that big ship there? I probably should check that out at some point. really appreciate the warning. It's our company's policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. Safe travel, stranger. Thank you.
Please tell me you're not going to make us run the red mile. No, we're not running the red mile. Don't you worry. We're just doing a little shopping. Oh, just the thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss for words. Don't worry. We won't be here very long. We hardly have to interact with anyone. It actually, it's kind of like selling ships, Winters. You don't get that big a percentage of the quote-unquote value. Bullshit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. Play by the house rules, or you'll find yourself on the other side of an airlock without a help. I'm sure as you improve your skills, though, your bargaining power and social and all that, it probably gets a lot more lucrative. Dang, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Yep. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure. And now I'm on the outs. Sounds like this place went through a lot of changes. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Why not? Okay. Okay, so what we're looking for... Uh, let me see. Oh, he's got the good stuff. Hang on here. Let's back off a little bit. Three twenty. I think actually, I think three twenty is about the best you can do. What we're looking for are these things here. Your one ninety or one sixty ballast shielded cargo holds. So we're gonna do the two hundred cm's. Thirteen hundred cargo. And that's shielded cargo. So that means I should have a pretty good chance of getting through undetected if I've got contraband. As long as it has to be in my cargo hold. It can't be in a separate container on the ship. It can't be in my inventory. It can't be loose in the ship. It can't be in a character's inventory. It has to be in the cargo hold. So we can pick up our contraband 
and try out our brand new life as an intergalactic smuggler. Or actually, I guess it's more interstellar, not intergalactic as such. That's okay. So we were in Olympus. There already is a mod that lowers the registration fees for ships. Mod Organizer 2 compatibility is already in the works for Starfield. That doesn't surprise me. It's going to be a while before I want to actually mod the game, though. I want to experience at least a decent chunk of it without mods. Same as I do for, you know, pretty much every game that I play. I did the same for Fallout, believe it or not, once upon a time. I think I went like a week in Skyrim before I was already modding. Wow. I like to at least get some of the achievements, even if I don't hunt all of them down. Harvested organs and Xeno warfare technology. Now we need to quick save just in case this fails. I don't know yet what the percentage chance is actually going to be. Quick save again, just to be safe. Actually, you know, it's faster to get to Neon, and the trade uh, trade agency or whatever it's called there is easier to reach as well. So I think we'll go to Neon. You have contraband. Settled systems require scanning of your ship's cargo before attempting to land here. Add a destination to the planet's orbit. See how this goes. Welcome to Free Star Fifty nine percent. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Fingers crossed. Ah, rude. That's not a good sign. 
I don't think I've ever been detected on my other playthrough. Five minute warning, by the way. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Oh, it auto saved. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Thank you, officer. While we're here, you might want to stay away from the edge of the upper platform. It's a long way down. You don't say. You might recall I already learned that lesson the hard way. Captain. I can hope against hope. I might actually have to bring out console commands if this guy doesn't reappear here at some point and it looks like he's nowhere to be found. Because <sighs> that effectively limits me. There's an entire manufacturer that I cannot access if he doesn't show up. Unless maybe there's another, you know, starport somewhere that offers access to that same manufacturer's material or whatever. Uh, oh, um... I'm not sure if this stuff will get picked up on the security scan. Let's find out. Keep moving, the scanners won't hurt you. No, we're good. Okay. something <laughs> yes let's yep see it's not half bad but it's not as good as the value indicates either oh shoot he has no you know what did you uh, find anything else Make sure you bring it to me. Make sure you actually have money, sir. Word is the Borealis, you know? I guess we're going to have to make another run. We're going to have to go to New Atlantis. Get lost. I have a job to do. It really is winters. Worst case, I could always just restart the playthrough. We're not that far in. And I happen to know from my off-stream playthrough that there's a heck of a lot of stuff you can pick up that I didn't know about and didn't find my first time through. Greetings, Captain. We're counted for. We're ready to depart. Off we go. Okay. 
And this is about the right time for me to uh, start the break, too. So if you guys need to get up and grab something, this is a real good time to do it. I'll be back here in about three and a half to five minutes. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. I forgot I was building the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Come on. Let's stop pretending you'll make it out of here alive. Oh, get me! Crap, he has a bad motivator. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Get back down here. No! Damn it. <laughs> Link? Link, where did you disappear to? I missed my ride. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Oh my god! Where am I gonna wanna stop these? Oh, whoops. A little before that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Ah! Gotcha. Sucker. Oh. Ow! You colossal jerk. Uh... What?! <laughs> that certainly looks like it's being held by rebel scum. Stop, Gerard. I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot! Okay, I'm back. New Atlantis, here we come. Or sorry, why do I keep calling it New Atlantis? It is Alpha Centauri, I should know that. Can I, what? Thank you, Mad. How's it going, Mad? It's good to see you. And thank you, Winters. You're entering United Colony space. Maintain course and... 
and prepare to be scanned. Fingers crossed. Wait, what? Why was my chance of evading the scan zero? What the hell? Oh crap. We say again, respond immediately. <laughs> I forgot. I took the contraband out of the cargo hold. Don't do that. <laughs> Whoops. Excuse me, folks. I'm a little bit tired tonight. I didn't get as much sleep last night as I'd hoped. Plus, I've already streamed once before today. Okay. Oh, my... Right. My contusions haven't healed yet. should be better prepared. Probably a fair number because I do have the passenger compartment. Let's find out. Crew five. That's why I keep thinking it's New Atlantis. The city is New Atlantis. Okay. I don't feel crazy anymore. I was honestly expecting it to be bigger with all the upgrades. Yeah, but I don't have very many hab compartments. It's really, I've got the workshop, I've got the extra large living quarters, and I've got the engineering section, and I've got the bridge, and that's it. The rest is cosmetic stuff. Inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, let's see here. I don't actually have all that much in here except for this. Oh, vendor credits zero. Never mind that. 
I guess we're gonna have to go find the trade authority then. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Have we been to the well yet? Oh, you can fast travel to your ship from anywhere? That's actually super handy. Stow the kid in the cargo hold and that's a little more room. Sam won't mind, right? <laughs> I actually don't know Sam yet. I was thinking after we deal with this whole cargo situation, maybe we actually will do a little bit of main story stuff. Just a touch. Just advance things a little bit further. While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. can actually check in here too. Jemison Mercantile. They won't deal with the contraband. If you don't see what you want, if it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it. Oh, please take a look. But if they've yeah, they've got money, so we should be able to sell from ship inventory and deal with a lot of this miscellaneous crap. Crap. I didn't think I would have Digipix in my ship storage. That's annoying. That's the way I'm playing, just a smattering of main quest in between a dozen hours of doing whatever I want. Yeah, that's really the way to go. Okay. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. No problem. How much money have I got left? 15k. That's not how bad. Hey, Wittai, how's it going? People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. He's not wrong. It's cliche, but it's true. Everything has a price. 
And whatever it may be, I can afford it. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Yeah, it, it, it it's worth keeping an eye on the channel and maybe the Discord if you're around with I. I actually do a fair number of bonus streams at night because I really enjoy streaming at night. And it turns out that with my reduced schedule, I can kind of get away with it every now and then. Then my disclaimer doesn't apply. And I hope we have what you need. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Uh, thanks, I'm a gunsmith. The hell am I supposed to do with 2,000 potatoes? <laughs> Be my guest. All right, let's see. We want to sell this stuff. And they've got lots of cash. Good. Perfect. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. 18,000. We can maybe take a look at some ship upgrades now. I need to check out what kind of reactor I've got in this thing. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. I just usually lurk since I rarely have much time at this time, but now new job in two weeks. Then you will have less time at this time, but maybe more sleep. Oh no. Um, well, I mean, sleep is a good thing. I'm very much in favor of sleep. California, it's going well. How are you doing? It's great to see you. What's going on? I am absolutely loving this. This is the best year for games, I swear. It's like the golden years of gaming all over again between Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate 3, and we've got City Skylines 2 coming out next month. We're so spoiled. Ah, uh, it's fine. I can do it now. All we're doing is headed back to the ship and the, uh, the, the ship designer guy. So let's do it. It's been a couple of hours since we had one anyway. All right. Why did the man use as little wood as possible when building an extension on his house? He wanted to conserve a tree. And the rim shot's still not working, so that's fun. But there you go. Need some work done? I do, potentially. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Hey, Anstara. How are you doing? Okay. Oop, nope. Okay, no problem. Right. Ship builder. That's the anti grav drive. Okay, so we can potentially upgrade this as well. I think that's our stock anti grav drive. And. The 124mm toroidal reactor. Actually, not sure if that one is stock. One twenty four. So I could do this one, but the fact that we've got the one twenty four, 
That's already generating plenty of power, I think. Let's maybe look at the graph drive. So what's that one? That is the R1000. Yeah, let's upgrade this one. There we go. Doing all right, kind of tired, just pushed a bit into the main story to get a certain thing happening. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a little bit of the main story here myself. I should get a refund that wasn't terrible, that was ghastly incoherent. Wow. <laughs> just jokey, of course. It was a pun. Conservatory is pronounced conservatory. Yes. Yes. All right. So... Is there anything else we can do to this? There's probably lots I can do to this. It's just... Oh, actually, how much would a shield upgrade cost? Probably too much. We've got the 10S. Wow, okay, that's the bare bones basic shield option. So that does shield max health 310, 355. We can get to 420 if we go to the 30S. Four forty if we use the SG thirty. And then after that, we're into class D, uh, B, and C, rather. So let's ditch that thing. Oh. Um. Five twenty. Oh, that's the class B. Ooh. Four oh five is not half bad. I think we're gonna probably do that. No, we'll do the 30S. All right, there we go. Bacon, yes, I have. This is inspired by the Millennium Falcon, or you know, rather the sort of larger YT series. Not attempting to recreate it at all, of course. It's a very loose inspiration, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so far. There we go. Happy birthday, Anstara! That's amazing! Congratulations on another successful trip around the sun. Yeah, I'm looking at m maybe getting a new GPU this year as well. I'm kind of leaning towards the 3070 Ti. It's on the kind of sweet spot of being a huge performance upgrade over the 1080 without the huge price increase that happens as soon as you start looking at anything 3080 and above. Yeah, it kind of does, Winters. It kind of does. All right, let's go back to the constellation, folks. So, what are your plans for today, Anstara? Anything special for your birthday? Can I help? 
Really like a 4070? Yeah, I would love a 40 series, but I don't want to try and save up enough to pay like 2,000 bucks. Hell, a 3080 is like 1,500. It's ridiculous. Nothing special today, normal work day. I'm taking next week off from work, though. Oh, that's awesome, Mansara. And Friday as well. Okay, I haven't been back here in a while. Let's see what's going on. I wonder if any discovery reports have come in while we were away. Where would we check that? Oh, oh what? Now this, this is history. Would you look at this? I assumed it was all right to let your parents in here, but maybe they shouldn't stay for long. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. There's I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. I can totally hear it now that I know. This is Major Kira from Deep Space Nine. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbang. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Thanks, but this isn't Everyone your place to welcome me to. Is going to hear about you. And this is Tuvok. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagine. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You have hidden depths, Mom. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. What? He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but... Uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Get the tour. Okay. Ms. Noel, That's really cool. Let's right. have a look at this pistol. Congrats on the new job. Here's a gun, I know. Uh, where... Ah, oh, Sir Livingston's pistol. Oh, wow, that's an old-school pistol. Forty-five caliber. Large magazine, high velocity. Hey, I like that. That's not bad. We can probably mod that up. I brought cookies next time. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Cookies. What type? Oh my god. I make a mean snicker. Okay, where where, where are we going with um flat out a handgun, yeah. Where's our missions? Oh my god, I'm collecting main missions. What the heck? Talk to Sarah. Okay, so that's all the done stuff. Travel to Aquila City. Talk to Vladimir. Return to Vectera. Where where the heck is Vectera? Argos Extractors is packing up operation. Oh right, this is for Barrett. Let's go get him. Can I not just fast travel back? Do I maybe have to be outside?
Vladimir is apparently who you want to sell all the planetary data to. Then we'll do him next. Go visit him. See what he's up to. Time to lurk back into sleep. Have a fantastic night, Ansara. Um. Oh. Man, did I get turned around? What the heck? Okay, uh, spaceport, this way. I love the train animation because it looks like Sarah always misses the train. I know. I debate sometimes about waiting for her to catch up. But uh, that usually lasts for about a split second and then we're already gone. Okay, so we're going up to Narian. Have I been here before? I'm not certain. Vectera. I guess we must have been, because it says return to Vectera. Oh, wait. If we're going back for Barrett, is this the place where we were initially working? Things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. This? Yeah. Well, you're back. Hey, Lynn. Uh-uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. I'm sorry, Lin. I didn't know. We should have evacuated after the first attack. Why hit the same place twice? What could they gain? Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I know that talk. Suicide mission. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. 
drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. <laughs> That's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> it was going so well until that part. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, then. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Wow, that's pretty that that that's that's a bit grim. Oh, we can actually go back in here. For some reason, I kind of expected it was going to be off limits. Contusions cured. Master key. Hmm. Heller's personal log number two. Personal log. Heller, Argos Extractus. I figured back Terra for your standard moon. Looks like I was misinformed. Lynn just filled me in on what we're really doing here. Looks like Lynn's got another... What's the word she used? Discreet contract with that Barrett guy. He says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it, no questions asked. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old best, as usual. But a guy does have to wonder. What the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon, in the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot it first. Mm. Those are my terms. All right. Why is she mad at you? Barrett's the one that brought in the pirates. Yes, that is true. That is true. I think she's just mad that I bailed. Isn't this the same mine where you pulled your first artifact from the ground? I'm almost sorry I wasn't here to watch that happen. There's a lot of stuff here. And a lot of it's beryllium and other stuff that I don't really have a lot of. love that you can just come back here and go back to work. Only you to keep everything. But don't worry, I'm not going to scour it trying to find every single little thing.
Yep. One day I will probably set up spreadsheets of crafting components that are needed for various things. But for right now, I'm just gonna be a little opportunistic since I happen to already be here. And I happen to know there's a ton here because I actually gathered it instead of going where they told me to go and doing what they told me to do when I was doing the, you know, the, the first trip through here. I might as well just grab it real quick. And then we'll be on our way. Oh, whoops. I'm not even sure I knew about all of these deposits. That's a three-star material. I have no idea what that means, but I assume it's good. Well, I had already done it once before on stream, right? So I figured, why not explore? I am an explorer, right? What kind of explorer would I be if I didn't take the opportunity to explore what's right in front of me? Uh, good call, except that there doesn't seem to be... Oh, you know what? I don't think it's counting this stuff as one of the scannable resources, oddly enough. You probably have to go out onto the planet proper to do that. Just about it. Maybe. Nope. Nope, there's still this. That's probably good. There might be more than that. Especially of the, uh, the other stuff. The beryllium. But... Like I said, I'm not going to worry that much about it. I got a whole bunch now, so I'm pretty happy with that. Katrin, it's been forever. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Enjoy your lurk, please. Interesting. I was wondering what was going on. I was sure you'd at least have a few of the resources on this planet. Could be. I mean, you can also get them on other planets, so it's possible I've got more than I think I do. But I just remember stopping in and noticing that I just, you know, didn't recognize a lot of the names. Especially that last stuff in the actual site where the artifact was. larger facility than I realized. What is going on all through here? Why do they have a million emergency power cells?
Space undersuit. Probably about it. I sneak in and lurk sometimes, but haven't had much time to do more than lurk, so I'm quiet. You are always welcome, whether you have time to speak or not. Come on, Sarah. Um. Now, as for before, if somebody mentioned, was it you, Bacon? I'm not 100% certain, I apologize. That the 4070 isn't too expensive. I'll have to I'll have to look into that. Another freaking emergency power cell. What the heck? They're everywhere. Not sure how Canadian prices are, but in the U.S. it's around 800. Okay, yeah, 800. Uh, that's probably gonna put it around 1,200 Canadian. Let me actually just check really quickly. Forty seventy. Ooh. You know, it actually. I'm very wrong. They're between eight and nine hundred Canadian, huh? Okay, I may have to reevaluate my uh, my my plans then. Thank you, Bacon. Uh, yes, I am mental, and welcome on in. Take that. Tracker's Primer 5 permanently increases EM weapon damage by 5%. Space undersuit again. Oop, gotta take the coffee mug. Toilet paper is always important. You see, Navy hat. Forty seventy TIs are in the seventeen hundred to eighteen hundred New Zealand range, which is why I went with a Radeon seven six seventy six hundred for five fifty since it came with Starfield. Oh damn bink, nice.
that's why. Now I'm so glad that I went back through that facility. I was so confused why they had these just power cells all over the place. I found them occasionally while exploring, but not nearly that often that I'd expect to find three in one location. Okay, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. Mm. Nope, that's definitely wrong. That takes care of the inner one. Where did you learn to pick up? You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. Hmm. Really mad. I have not yet had Baldur's Gate 3 crash. I'm probably not likely to, because um, <laughs> when I streamed Baldur's Gate earlier today during my afternoon stream, I found much to my shock and surprise, I really, really enjoyed the PS5 version. I was hoping that maybe I would be able to tolerate playing it on console enough that if Baldur's Gate, the city itself, didn't run well on my PC. That I'd be able to, you know, once I got there, I'd be able to switch over and continue playing there with better performance. I was really not expecting the play experience itself to be improved on PlayStation 5 over PC. It was pretty impressive. Also, four and a half minute warning. We're going to take a break in a few minutes. And this will be my last break of the evening. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? Gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B doomed. 
doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Okay. I'm not entirely sure I'm understanding what he's saying there, but is he kind of hinting a little bit that maybe just maybe he wants a rescue? He's being a little unclear. Constellation ship incoming, unidentified ship pirates incoming, unidentified ship pirates incoming, constellation ship incoming. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit of a loot goblin. I don't know if you've noticed. Okay. When there's a lot of people around, I definitely notice a drop in frames. Sounded like he was doing just fine. Yeah. working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hmm. Heller, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. You want to be my subordinate? I could recruit you. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. Outpost management, if, uh, hey! you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Get on board. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. I do need to build an outpost one of these days. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Sounds good. Uh, where did I park? Um, hello? Ship? This looks problematic to me. Maybe I'm crazy. What the heck? Set landing target? Um... <laughs> I have to take a break. We might need to reload an older save. I wonder if maybe I screwed something up by going back down into the mine. I... You got me. I don't know. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh. Shoot. Ah! Oh my god. Was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah! But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. 
Ugh. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. That was not me. I didn't do that one. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. Look at that. It's a blue T-Rex. That is so cool. I love that color combo. I forgot about these guys too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude. That's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. Oh. You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. Oh. Okay, if they just want to stay there, that lets me regain a bit of magic. I hate you guys. That was not a sniper shot. Precisely the wrong fraction of a second. <sighs> yes, game, I know. Residential, it's fine. It's fine. I'm actually gonna put a little residential in here. People can live in the park, it's not a problem. Use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. Oh, I forgot. This could be problematic. Mm. Oh my god! 
Oh. <laughs> that was so freaking... Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the bad news is here. Um... Let's maybe try loading an autosave. If I load this, let's see what this gets us. I can skip the whole mining thing. I don't need to go and gather all those resources. It's not like those are going anywhere. Oh, we're already down here. Oh, but we're... Wait, we are... Okay, hang on. Let me just check. Nope, ship's gone. Okay, let's load an earlier one. Oh, that is annoying. This is about an hour back. It was 2.09. It's an hour and 10 minutes. Thank you, Winters. Oh, Jesus, we're on Neon? Okay. Alright. At least I have my ship. We can just go directly there. We can just go directly there. I'm gonna stash this stuff in my smuggling compartment. We're gonna go the directly there. And then we're gonna resume. And I won't bother going mining this time. Well, I don't know if that's what's caused it. That's kind of just a, you know, speculation on my part. It's probably fine to go back there if you're not maybe doing a mission or something. I don't know. One would certainly hope, anyway. Okay. Bypassing New Atlantis. Uh, actually, hang on. Where? We want missions first, so I actually know where I'm going. Greeny, what the heck? This is early for you, isn't it? I guess, yeah, actually, you do often end around now, don't you? Greeny, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing? How was the rest of your Baldur's Gate stream? I had a lot of fun watching you today. Uh, uh, let's see. Dice of the way, here are the trees. It's a tree raid. Thank you so much, Greeny. Hey, Romney, it's good to see you. What's going on? Yeah, Tuesdays, you end earlier. Yeah, I was just thinking that. So... What all happened, without, of course, being too spoilery, uh, we just lost an hour and ten minutes of progress in this game because I returned to a place that we started from and uh, my ship actually went missing, so that's fun. But we're just going to quickly redo stuff. So, how are things going? Welcome on in, everybody. Here, let me pause that because, uh, yeah. Guys, you all know Greeny already. If you don't, Please make sure you go follow him. He's been a friend of the channel for a very long time. He's a mod here in the channel, and he is a fantastic streamer. Uh, he plays a lot of the same sort of stuff that I'm playing. I'm doing a lot of Baldur's Gate lately. He is a huge Baldur's Gate fan. He played through basically the entire Baldur's Gate series over the last year. And 
No, he's going through Baldur's Gate 3. He's a little bit further in it than I am at the moment. He's uh, actually made it to Baldur's Gate itself. So if you want to check out what he's up to, you can be assured you're going to have a really good time with him and his content. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while I do Lego builds as well. So if any of that sounds fun, please make sure you hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Form factor aspect ratio. Oh no 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 no! No oh, crap! Whoa! Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. It's a little bit of a uh, little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Uh, let me see. Progress Gale's personal story. Found all sorts of neat stuff. Also, Ramzith's, Ramazith's tower is amazing. Ooh, I can't wait to check it out. Top floor balcony looking out over the city looks so cool. And there were Sagans. And you progressed Asterian's story too. Oh man. Okay, that's really neat. So, you've been through Act Two, and I know. It can be hard to judge sometimes because the story can play out in so many different ways. If you had to guess, though, how far would you say I am from finishing off Act 2? Roughly-ish. Okay, Vectera. Let's try this again. With safety saves. Vera, how's it going? It's good to see you. What's going on? You think this is bad? It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Um. Okay, I don't. I I no longer think that going down into the mines had anything to do with it. What the hell? That's just bizarre. Trying to stay cool, it was 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Th no. No, no. Where's the 209 save? There we go.
Moonrise itself could be a full stream, if not more. Beyond finding Roland after the gauntlet, then all you would have left is Moonrise. Now that is a lot of stuff. Moonrise itself could be a full stream, if not more. Okay, interesting. A ship cannot have more crew than its crew stations or crew capacity can support. Interesting, okay. This is just really weird. Excellent, Greeny. I actually, I never disliked him. I know he was kind of a jerk, but he had very good reasons for being jerky. So I don't really hold it against him. I, I'm... I think he had plenty of reason, honestly. Maybe that's just me. Okay, those go there. Now we're gonna save the freaking game. And I don't think this time, I, I don't think we're gonna go and we're gonna just land. I think we're going to go to the system and land manually. Or not manually, but I'll show you. You find him at last light and he's drowning his sorrows and he runs off and you have to find him, which is where you are. Well, yeah, but given what happened to him and his friends and family and everything and all the bad luck they've had, I just, I don't know, like I said, maybe it's me, but I think he's got more than enough reason to justify all of that. He's had it rough. And more particularly, from his point of view, you were kind of the direct cause. Okay, we're just going to set course here. To the system. Not even the planet yet. Yeah, it is justified. And in my mind, that makes it entirely excusable. Now, I'm not saying everyone should agree with me on that. Okay, so confirmed. We're here, we have our ship. Let's save the game again. Not landing, just going to the planet. It's interesting to see differences. I mean, three years of us just seeing him as a jerk in the grove, that's true. Uh, you have until I get bored to give us what we want, or we're going to blow you into a vacuum and take it anyway. Guess we'll have to do this now. Now we're going to ignore the spacers who are threatening me and making ships act all wonky, and we're going to try and land. And we'll see if the ship actually comes with us. If not, I actually do have a little bit of a plan. Uh, and it'll let us test a few things as well. Counterspell is a lifesaver, and chain lightning is a lot of fun. Oh, very nice. I was reading... It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Oh, crap. I wonder if this is a known issue. This is the second fairly serious bug that we've come across in the game. Let me just load this game. I'm gonna try setting down it right like adjacent to the landing spot, but not on it and see if that actually works. Okay, so maybe if we go here. I don't know if this is gonna take into account the presence of that stuff though.
Uh, there was actually an attack underway, Winters. Okay, now what happens if we exit the ship? Okay, the ship is still here. This is a positive. Unfortunately, I don't... Uh, I was hoping if we sat down really, really close to it, maybe we could just go there. But I think this is basically a whole new procedurally generated chunk of planet. I don't think we can just head over there manually. Ooh, this is a bad one. That's bad. I wonder if maybe I might have to restart this play. That's two fairly serious bugs we've uncovered just today. Not even remotely. Uh, let's head back over there and I'll show you the landing spot bacon. It's a big, wide open landing field. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to land there. None Captain, at all. Greetings. I don't have a different ship. This is the one and only ship. Okay. See, there's no chance whatsoever there's no room for the ship on this thing. Yeah, I'm wondering that too, Winters. I mean, I've got plenty of saved game files I can send them if they want to try to do it. Yeah. Um... Well... Maybe we'll go along one of the other main story paths then and hope that this gets patched. We know they are working on patches for things. Oh, we're there. Missions. The Eye. We'll go meet Vladimir. I've been doing a lot of surveying. Apparently he's the guy to talk to about that. It means we're going to have to risk a scan, but that's okay. It's not the planet, Bacon. It's that specific landing site on that planet. Yep, that's why I landed so close nearby and my ship was fine. It's that particular landing pad. So it's not even the whole planet. Okay, the eye. Oh, maybe I don't need scanning after all. This is UC security. Prepare nope, to be never mind. Yeah. To land at New Atlantis. Okay. Well, we're not going to New Atlantis, but fine. We're going over here instead. Aha! Uh -huh. The eyes always open to constellation. I need docking clearance. There we go. Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. 
soldiers. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. Captain, greetings. Oh. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's because you know, the game came out and I started this playthrough immediately. I haven't had these sorts of issues in my other playthrough off stream, but I started that one later. This is so neat. Well, in theory, Vera Johnson, yeah, but I already did that once, and then I had to reload because of that landing problem, and so now I've still got it. It'll keep. I mean, you know, what's a few more days for illegally transported black market organs? You heard me, Voidum. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Good to meet you, Vladimir. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts would be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Understood. I need to check on these leads in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and I'm worried. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for Andresia. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway. Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. So you're retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there. Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Visit Vladimir's house, okay. <laughs> and yeah, Voidum, um, just to be clear, I did not do the harvesting. I stole a ship from pirates, and they had the organs, and what's the point of letting them go to waste? Might as well put them to good use. Okay, he didn't have much to say about stuff. Excuse me, sir. The eyes seen all it can for the moment. Good luck out there. Okay, fine. Show the words another time then. At least this one Don't seems to be behaving service, itself. Captain. Let me know when you're ready to launch. Oh, wow, it's getting crowded in here. This is why I still need to build an outpost. I've got too many people hanging around. 
Nobody's in engineering. Okay. Oh, right. I was looking for what's-her-name, Lynn, Supervisor Lynn, but I can't recruit her because I can't get back to my ship again. Damn it. Just happened to find a bin full of organs. Wow, Bacon. That absolves you of any wrongdoing. going. Oh, whoops. Too far. We've never been out this far, I don't believe. Stellar cartography, visit 20 star systems. Good. Oh, God. Grab drive down. We can't jump. Um. Yeah, I can't really get involved in that. It became clear to us earlier on that my ship is really not geared out to be a, you know, a, 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 a starfighter. And I'm in combat. Great. That's never stopped me before. What the heck? Can I get out of here? You can't win this. Ah, fine. I'll see what I can do to help. It's not like it's one on five or whatever. Money. I'll just take the salvage if you don't mind. Pick him clean then. <laughs> you take care out there. Excellent. Bad. Credits and battery. So it seems that Interstellar Scavenger might actually be a fairly reasonable. Oh, that's. Can I have a pet? A pet. Reasonable career choice. Starship pets and starships. A pet robot. There we go. That's not bad. That's not bad. Find the artifact on Piazzi 
four C. Wait, when did I ding level 15? What the heck? Did that just happen? Skill points one, I guess it just happened. Um two more points in tech, huh? I guess we're going security then. I really want the starship design skill. That's when I start to open up more options that I can build with. Okay, come on, Sarah. Before I hit the sack, I did do another thing tonight that was really funny. You can find face paint and paint your face like a clown. Oh, God. the heck was that? It's likely this facility was constructed within the crater to protect it from the elements. Or prying eyes. Whoops. That's recommended stealth procedure, by the way. Nothing says stealth like an unexpected gunshot. A little bit of cold never hurt anyone, right? I agree. Hello. I think I found something here. It's very bright in here. What the heck? Oh, shock troop space. Oh, that's a good helmet actually. I don't usually care for the ones that hide the face, but those are some really good protective scores. I might go with that for now. But yeah, if you've got to take off, Greeny, have a fantastic night. He can't spot me if he's dead. Also, holy heck, an ammo. How do I have this much ammo for this gun?
they'll never suspect a thing. Interesting winters. Yeah, I might end up restarting the game then. If that's the case. I might make the character a little differently too. I'll still be an explorer. Uh, but I might actually want to try the, uh, the fan. Damn it. It's the one problem with this chameleon ability. There we go. It's hard to get the benefits of a sight if you cannot see the sight. <laughs> no, it was not Hammer. Oops. Or is this actually a known issue and that is the genuine cause? Because that's ridiculous if it's true. I seriously doubt it's related in any way, but I haven't done anything to alter the frontier yet. I could always get a smaller ship and try it. I don't want to rebuild the frontier, but I don't necessarily mind. I don't stock up on junk. Really, Hammer? Oh, man. Okay, so next time I steal a ship, we'll try doing the mission again. I'll just rebuild it to be really small. I can have, like, a small lander craft. There you go. This is a cold place. You can warm yourself up a little bit. Good job. Thank you, Sarah. Where did the body go? What the heck? I almost shot you, Sarah. Have a great night, Hammer. Thank you. And thank you for the tip about the ship size. I will seriously make an effort to acquire another ship, and uh, I'll just make it really small and try it then. Oh. Still something I need to fix because your ship really isn't too big for that landing pad. Yeah, I agree. I'm sure they will. If it's all over Reddit, then I'm sure it's just a matter of time before they fix it. 
Which means maybe I don't even have to worry about it. We'll have to see. Though I would like to recruit Lin. Cheese. Always very important to grab the cheese. Demos cap. Padded hat. Let's not wake him up. I'm sure he's uh, deeply tired and in need of rest. Hazmat suit. Another hazmat suit. A third hazmat suit. Wow. They are very big into hazardous safety protocol. Okay, so that's for the blue inner ring. As is this. I'm trying to murder you. Man, there's so many locks to pick up here. Don't make me chase you, you'll only die exhausted. Exactly. Go get him. Good to know. This is totally not criminal activity for the record, robot. Just like to be clear about that up front. Okay. Alright, so that's inner ring. That's inner ring. That's outer. Okay. 
something's not lining up here. Okay, so I think this one... And this one... Wait, no, that... That leaves that one out. Ugh, these things can be really annoying. This one can fit either, either ring. Okay, so that can work on the outer ring. Then we need that, that, and that. Okay, let's hope that was what we needed. I guess it was. Perfect. Robot doesn't seem to mind. Shielded lab outfits. Okay, so that's where we progress. sure that one fits any of them. That's inner. That can also be inner. So these two are basically the same. God, how is it after four in the morning? What the heck? Okay, I guess we're doing one more break. Oh, that can fit there. And that can fit there. So that one, and that one. Those two. Wait, but that would mean I need this.
Just gonna force the issue. There's gotta be a way to make these work. There we go. Please stand back. This unit is on patrol. Okay, what was down here? Excuse me. <laughs> Might as well take what we can. Now you're on board with it? Okay. have the coffee cups books and coffee cups those are the things that I collect you don't really seem to be doing much about it sir I'm not complaining I'm just observing Okay there, Sarah. Oh, I wonder how this poor soul ended up this way. Such a shame. Oh, good catch. Okay. Ads are about to start. I'm going to take one seriously this time for real final break and then i'll be back in a few and we'll just see if we can clear out this place and then i've got our raid out of here so if you need to get up and grab something now's a real good time to do it and i'll meet you back here in just a bit Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. <laughs> I'm not finding that body. to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. What? No! 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 Ah! Uh. 
That's so rude. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh, that's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Uh oh. Uh oh that is no! Watch my back! Uh It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the... Oh, shoot! Not me! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That, no, that... <laughs> that didn't work out quite the way I had hoped it would. Okay, I am back. Oh, shoot. Um... What can I help you with? Glad to haul whatever you need. Thank you. I don't suppose you've got room for a bunch of crap, do you? Oh, she doesn't crap. Damn it. Talk to you later. Thank you, Winters. Gotcha. Set aside and use and just win the Whoops. Wonder when my last autosave was. Okay. Not too bad at all then. Is this really the time to be worried about that? Ow. 
Ooh, Tortier. Very nice. Was that it? That seems like it was it. Ooh. This usually means that was the boss. Uh, there was a guy back here. This is a big facility. What the heck? I wonder where this is. Okay, so even the mines are follow for. You just gotta be quick. I think I accidentally invented a launch system. been here. That was the pirate who was just minding their own business at the vending machine and we burst in here and ruined their day. take me 10 minutes to leave here, but I will get this stuff out. Oh. I... I don't think I've ever attempted an expert one before. This is interesting. Well, let's start lining them up inside out. That looks like that fits. And then we need these two... Nope, that's not going to work, which means that is probably wrong. Oh, that's the first time I've seen just one individual little pip like that. This has to be right, though. Oh, hang on, though. Hang on, though. That leaves these three. It's not that. It 
Some people live by no man left behind, others live by no loot left behind. Exactly. When I filled Sarah's inventory so quickly, I was like, what do you mean my follower isn't a bottomless bag of holding? <laughs> There we go. That one fits. So these two, and yeah, those two, they are the innermost. So now let's focus on this. We've got three in close proximity. And there is one over here, so I'm kind of eyeing this one. Let's see how that fits. That is perfection. So that leaves us with these three. three will do it. This one, this one, and this one. So the outermost that could work. Yeah. Um, did I screw something up? Did I reuse one that I was saving? Maybe, maybe not. No, we're good. Okay. There we go. Frickin' ammo 90 rounds of ammo Ugh. permanently increases tool grip weapon damage by 2% I actually use that quite a bit so that's a plus Must have the coffee. Is that it? I see Bethesda are still into trolling with the expert and master locked loot. No kidding. Once we get to a vendor who will pick it up and pay me for it.
Okay, I just gotta catch my breath a little bit. Just out of curiosity, 236 of 155. This is not a problem. This would not have been a problem if I hadn't had to reload, because I'm sure I sold a lot of this crap before I had to do that. Uh, we've been here. What the heck? What did I miss? Probably a door. Oh. I missed this crate. That's a start. Thirty six this way. Hmm. Did I miss a passage? Or is it actually maybe telling me to go outside again? No, oh, those are not real books. Got this, that's what I forgot. Hmm. I wonder what's past this point. Death, destruction, and ruination, if I had to guess. Okay, so that's that. And that's that. Not sure that was worth the tool there. Some more things to add to your collection, perhaps. You know me so well. Can't go down there, huh? Okay, I am confused. Oh. I am no longer confused. Never mind. Oh, okay, so this is the artifact. gonna do the thing again. That's a fake mining node. Why are you bothering to carry all that stuff? Because I like crafting stuff that makes our missions go easier. You certainly don't mind when I make useful crap.
rude. What the heck? I'm starting to think that one may not be genuine. enough can we there we go yeah until later really nothing no questions no comments. Let's get out of here. I mean, we walked in, there's definitely a way out again, right? I didn't hear anything collapse on us. Or is she waiting for me to use a specific way out? Where are you? No, I think we're okay. Come on, Sarah. Let's just get out of here the old-fashioned way. How did I not notice that on my way in? What the heck? I asked myself the same question when I got lost in a robotics lab for 30 minutes. <laughs> Now, weren't we supposed to find either Mateo or... Wait. Oh, okay. This is just the foyer. Wasn't Mateo or that other person supposed to be at one of these sites? Or were they both at the same site and it didn't happen to be this one? It's now well after 4.30. I think... Where do we have to go next? Finding the artifact is one thing, but I don't feel like we've actually finished. Find Andrea. Andresia. Go to Nira. Okay. 
go to Nera. Oh, so Andresia is on the other one. What happened to Mateo? What what the heck? Weird. Let's see if I can drop some stuff off or if my ship is also Nope, I've got space now. Okay. Okay, and then resources. Store all resources. Good. And packs. Eighty six of one fifty five. I can move again. Let's just go to Nera and we'll save there and be ready to go next time I play this. Okay. My suit walks short until I learned you can go to the bathroom in these things. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Thank you, Vasco. Now, um, oh, sorry, Vasco. Yes? Let's see what you've got. I'm just going to take her inventory because she's already full up. I'm going to leave her these. Let's just drop those in the ship as well, as much as will fit, so that we are properly ready. Now, this one's interesting. Repulsing Calibrated Navigator Pack. Oh, this is similar to the one I found, except that this is a boost pack. O2 boosted, plus 20 oxygen capacity. Resource hauler. Resources weigh 25% less. That's actually huge. And repulsing is not bad either. But... I might have to upgrade that one. We'll look at that later. 
for now, let's get rid of these. Oh, right. Um, there we go. 68 of 155. Perfect. Hello, Captain. Okay. That is going to be a perfect place to save. So, guys... I don't know what we're going to be playing on Friday. I'm not currently planning on doing a bonus stream tomorrow or on Thursday, but you never know. Maybe the mood will strike. Um, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to do some more Baldur's Gate very soon. I don't know if it'll be next stream or if we'll do more Starfield next stream. So just keep an eye on threads and on Discord if you want an idea of what's going to go on. I think we're going to go find somebody to raid, though. So thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. It's been really fun. I'm glad we got a lot of work done on our ship. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that mystery. And... I'm binging Baldur's Gate 3 at the moment. I just cleared the Goblin Camp. Oh, very cool, Romney. I uh, I did a stream of Baldur's Gate earlier today. It was my very first time playing it on the PlayStation 5 instead of on PC uh, because the PS5 version released and I did pre-order the Collector's Edition for PS5. So I got a chance to play it and I was kind of, you know, I, I didn't get it to have the game on the PlayStation 5 as such. I got it for the ridiculous amount of awesome stuff in the collector's box itself so i didn't have necessarily the highest hopes for the ps5 version of the game i figured it might be worth having though uh you know uh, just having on installed on the ps5 in the event that the city of Baldur's gate itself being so dense maybe wouldn't run so well on my pc so i wasn't too sure what to expect but I loaded it up and played it with the intention of maybe just doing an hour or so on the PlayStation and then doing the rest of the playthrough on PC today. And I found that I really, really like it. I actually like it more than the PC version. So I think I'm just going to keep going on the PlayStation from now on. <laughs> it plays so well. It's actually quite different. Uh, it's one of those rare examples of a game where even I, Mr. Mouse and Keyboard, are always superior to controller. I have to admit... Having the Joy-Cons and being able to control where the camera is in relation to your characters, it makes a huge difference because you feel much more immediately connected to your character. You tend to typically be a lot closer to your character. It's not quite so close as to be like third person over the shoulder view, but it's really close to that. And so it feels very personal and immersive and close and immediate in a way that the standard PC version really doesn't. So I'm really, really, really having a good time with it. And a lot of the interfaces are better on the console as well. I'd like to try it on the Steam Deck if I had one. Looks like it would be fun handheld. Just not sure how the controls are on controller. It is a little bit more awkward. It is a little bit slower. But that's not necessarily a terrible thing I found. I actually found I kind of enjoyed the combat a bit more because of that, because it forced me to kind of evaluate what I was doing a little more closely, and I didn't make as many silly mistakes as I'm usually prone to do. So, you know, uh, take that for whatever it's worth. But I had a really good time with it, and I'm just thinking uh, Baldur's Gate is now a PlayStation playthrough for me from this point forward, I think because I enjoyed it that much. It was really good. Okay, let me see here. Who do we have online? Obviously, Greeny's already done. We can't raid him. Um... Uh, T with Mandy's playing Starfield if you want more of that experience. Itray is also playing Starfield. Actually, you know what? We've raided Mandy recently. Let's let's go raid Trey. 
because Trey stopped into the channel a short time ago, like uh, the other day, last time I streamed Starfield, and she's been doing her own playthrough, and I'd love to catch up and see how her playthrough is going. So I've got her stream loaded up here. Just waiting on ads to clear. Looks like they're just about done. Let me get you her link. We've known Trey for years now. I was hanging out with her an awful lot back in like uh, 2020, and we've kept up ever since. I will also get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the sh emote, the heart emote, and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. And I apologize. The outro theme, uh, my whole stream deck, it doesn't seem to be working on <laughs> stream today. I'll have to try and fix that over the next couple of days. So it's going to be a quiet outro. But uh, yeah, uh, you can use sh it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with those emotes if you're a sub. Uh, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non sub. Please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Trey's channel, see how her uh, Starfield game is going. It looks like she might be further in the story than I am because I really haven't been focusing on that at all. So we'll see how that's going, and I will see you back here. Maybe for some Baldur's Gate, maybe for some more uh, Starfield. But either way, it's going to be a real good time. So I hope to see you back. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.